No emulators here, no lies, lies and deception. So, when I left off, I had just caught a Yanma, which I called Wing Job, because I have a Geodude called Hand Job, don't ask. I'm not particularly proud of the names this run. So, I have been informed that I need to go back and catch a Paras, so that I can breed this Yanma and get a male one which has leech life. That is what I've been told. I'm just rolling with the flow. But I can get some nice XP while I'm here. That's a very high level crowd list. Thank God hand job so high level. I don't have a lot of confidence in fighting. Oh god. Whatever, quick attack. I don't need this thing to be alive. I don't need to give this thing XP. I'm surprised it lived actually. Twice the pride, double the fall. Uh, does magnitude count as that? It's an RNG move where I can either be lucky or very unlucky. So it's sort of the case of if I have too much pride, I can make a mistake with that move. I don't know what I'm talking about. Kind of meant to avoid him. It's because I dodged all of these trainers yesterday. Now I've got to fight them all. And it's going to make for some kind of tedious watching. Oh, hang on, hang on. Damn, I already screwed the pooch here. Damn. I forgot to stop and start my recording to indicate that I'd changed game. And this is one of the few things that I said I would do. So here's me with my blimmin' attempt to be a smart and professional streamer can't even do the basic things. That's going to be fun editing together. The editing. Can't pronounce my words. I don't know why this thing is called Ricardo. This is what I get for t accepting name suggestions from chat. This, this is nice and easy. Splash. Cool, cool, cool. He has so much damage. It's quite unusual. He's memes to roast the scumbags. Mm. My memes are too dank for you, traveler. Frickin' Ricardo was doing the same amount 
Hootoot is doing with a super... Hootoot is doing a super effective move and it's doing the same amount as Ricardo was doing with a not super effective move. Was that followable? I don't know why I found it difficult to make that make sense when I was saying it. Sometimes I wonder how I'm just completely moronic. Just a, a complete idiot. I might even dare to say the retard word. I might just be retarded. It's weird to me that people don't like people using retard. But hey, the world is weird. Watch me kill this thing accidentally. Big brain, big brain moment. I didn't even check if I have enough Pokeballs. That's enough Pokeballs. We continue searching because, like an idiot, I mean, hopefully it's not too rare. It shouldn't be. It's only a Paris. But still, yeah, I should have been a little bit more careful. At least it's not like the Apom last stream, where I found the perfect Apom in the tree in the first headbutt. And then I had to kill it because I ran out of Pokeballs. Are you going to survive this? So I'm just use Squash. Expand. You can't handle my girth. No idea if this thing is acceptable or not. Bab. I'll look for another Paras as well. Apparently, it needs a leech life. Because if I do stuff correctly, I have been informed that I can get a Yanma with leech life. And apparently this is a desirable thing. Now I'm just going with the flow. And I'll be honest, going through the whole, whole process of breeding Pokemon for a stream seems a little bit of overdoing things, you know? But nonetheless, I'll do it for the memes. I think Lickitung would be a good Chungus. You know, when I look at Lickitung, I think Chungus. Another Venonat. I don't know, what Pokemon makes you think of Chungus? Snorlax, maybe. There are some rabbit Pokemon, but let's be honest, they're just weak choices. Yeah, Snorlax, yeah.
Frickin' El New thinks Fat is a good name for Snorlax. Unbelievable. Now Chungus, that's a strong Snorlax name. I mean, just adding Ungus makes anything sound powerful. Drengus. Alakus. Alakus. Something like that. Streetgus. It just works. I have somehow managed to spend more time looking for this Paris than I have spent looking for Yanma or Apom. I don't know what's going on right now. If ever this is evidence, if ever I saw evidence that we live in a clown world, this is it. Searching for a Pokemon I don't even want. I guess this is my punishment for thinking that it would be a good idea to test whether or not Apom could one-hit kill it. I think you're stretching. I want to use Force Sense right now and find me a goddamn Paris. Please, game. Please. False mind trick. Call in all Parises. Come this way. Come. Come towards the sound of my dulcet voice as I murmur enticing words into your ear. Omelette du fromage. Twice the pride, double the fall. Do it! My God. Okay, I'm gonna do two more encounters, and if I don't get one, I'm just gonna say, screw it. Apparently I can do a Venonat equally, which I have, but something something levels make Paris better for it. I don't know. I've been taking too much input for, from El New, I'm starting to realize. Okay, that's it. No Paras. What a stupid Pokemon Paras is anyway. Then what it. I'm out of here. Me? Upset? No. That's not possible. I mean, technically, Paris is already mind tricked. Because, like, if you read its Pokedex entry, apparently it's a insect which is being taken over by the fungus on its back. Like, it's slightly unsettling, the Pokédex entry for Paris. Uh, I want to heal first. 
I don't want to leave Wing Job dead forever, but I want to box it for now. it make bad does it not how it does not have leech life this is not an ideal bad oh well may not be ideal but this is the one I got and I must make the best of what I have and I have to talk to the person near the pseudo widow first. Oh well. I guess now is a decent time to think about what I want to do tomorrow for stream. I think doing three games, three different games in a day, is a bit much. But two games is something manageable. Especially if it's a short stream for the first game. So maybe if I do Smash and more Pokemon and leave the Jedi Academy till Tuesday or something. Maybe if I alternate, actually. Yeah, that could work. Alternate between doing Smash Bros and Jedi Academy for an hour. If I don't commit to too much, it might encourage me to do more Smash Bros. And I won't get too bored. Great warrior! What are you doing? There's so many good lines I could turn into uh, the songs with that thing. What are you doing? Some Palpatine lines would be good. Maybe a Qui-Gon Jin line or two. No bounty on your head. Ah. Oh. I forgot that this trader makes us go around the long way. Got caught by a yawn there. Another Jedi has appeared. Wow, that was my attempt at Qui-Gon Jinn. That was terrible. Magnitude 4. There's our first. It surely will not be the last Magnitude 4 we see. Crit saved it. Man, where's El New when you need him? I need him to tell me when Bab learns Leech Life so I can drop it from the team.
Damn these blooming meows with bite. It's not very cash money of you. Do I have no... I have no potions. I have one super potion. No, no Gungan bombs. Gungan weapons not yet added. Please check back in later update. Coming soon for cut of 9.0. Twenty forty two. Steroids. No steroids in Pokemon. We got proteins. But we like to pretend that they're not steroids. They're just vitamins that mysteriously raise a Pokemon's stats. Oof, that charm really hurt. Let's hope he doesn't do much, too much damage. I need a fair amount of health left for the gym leader. Oh, of course. I think I have Paralyze Heal. Hope I have. I really don't want to have to leave and heal. Hey, I've got one. Oh. Poke champ. Look at that stupid looking thing. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? <sighs> Make for a nice little omelette. I could have called it omelet. That's not very cash money of you, Jigglypuff. Hmm. No, I don't like this at all. Yeah, baby, said nobody, because this was not a good thing. Magnitude 10! Earthquake tears open the ground! Wow, that thing looks so angry when it comes out. Ah, lame.
Look at this. Damn, that thing looks mean. Okay, we're a few HP down, but it's fine. I think we're fine and well equipped to deal with the gym leader. I hope. Well, if we're not, then I don't think anything else on the team is going to be able to do anything. So here we go. Let's just jump right into it. I wonder if I can get away with using an X tack. I could. Ooh. I was expecting it to use Growl or something. Oh, come on. It gets a super effective move. Ain't that just my luck? And only magnitude 7. Kill. Yes. We got this. Got a good feeling. Stomp. Fine. It's not fine. Magnitude 5. Bruh. And that was a crit. Houston, we have a problem. He survived. <gasps> the clutch. I would say that was using the power of legends, wouldn't you? He just survived on one HP and clutched through this gym. This gym is usually hard. Not today. We did it! Yeah! And then another useless TM that I'll never use. Attract. What a rubbish move. So we've got an hour left for the stream. I think I've got a good feeling that we could do more tea in this time. Bordy. Only problem is, I need to get this blooming venom out to learn leech life before I get too far away from the daycare. So I guess I need to fight some of these trainers down here and hope they give me enough XP. Bit annoying. Nurse Joy is a Jedi Consular now. Okay then. That is not what I wanted up first. This is why you check your team. Check yourself before you Shrek yourself. Please survive. Nah, whatever. Let's use hand job.
don't know what I want to use to fight Morty. It would be easiest to use Handjob. But I'm not exactly playing with this team for ease. Not using a Yanma for ease of its use. Supersonic. That's not good. Right, yes, yes. Bab up first. Wonder what level it is. A psychic's gun? Boy, am I glad I'm not using Bab. That Pokemon is terrible. Ah. Uh. What are we doing, Half-Life now? How many misses in a row can I take? I need to reveal a secret. I don't actually like Half-Life 2. I always found it a kind of boring and somewhat annoying game. Like, I mean, the physics were fun to play around with, but once you got bored of the physics gun, it kind of was just meh. Never understood why people made such a... And I mean Half-Life 2 when I'm talking about that. Because obviously Half-Life 1 didn't have the physics gun? I don't think it did. I played that even less than Half-Life 2. Yes, this is less than ideal, to be honest. To switch to stop this infernal ringing. Yeah, Gary's mod is all right, I guess. Problem with Gary's mod is that it it all of the fun. Well, the problem with Gary's mod is that for pure Gary's mod, you know, that actual building stuff. All of the fun is based around your own creative ability. And sometimes I wonder if I don't exactly have that in abundant amounts. Because I never found normal Gary's mod very engaging. Hmm. I mean, there's like a mod for everything in Gary's mod. I think there's a Star Wars model. Or something like that. Heard of a Harry Potter mod for Gary's mod. Just sounds like a mess, to be honest. A mod for everything. But are any of the mods particularly good? I remember playing Trouble on Terrorist Town, and that got boring after, like, three rounds. But somehow, it was one of the most popular mods. And there's the prop hunt mod. That was fun. I think of all the mods I played on Gary's mod, the mods for the for a mod, 
I enjoyed Prop Hunt the most. But even that kind of got boring after an hour or so. It's just... It's actually weird to me now that people can play that game so much. I need to select the, the bikey. This doesn't actually make things all that much faster. Wait, hang on. There's people in the underground that I haven't dealt with yet. There's always more. See, here I am dedicating basically an entire stream solely to draining up this Venat so that I can then use it to breed for a Pokemon that I'll use later. It's not fantastic. Hey, you want to buy some death sticks? You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. And still a more engaging conversation than anything that happened in the sequels. Okay, maybe that's stretching a little bit. But hey, it's fun to hate on those films. Would you deny me my source of fun? Let's just sweep through this guy with my hand job. There's no point in using anything else. I'm surrounded by death stick dealers. Unbelievable. Truly, the underground of the Pokemon world is a horrible place to be. I always thought that Voltorb's cry sounds a lot like a very heavily distorted not on our team. Like, like listening to it when I kill it. And it sounds like not on our team, but really heavily distorted. At least that's why I hear. Oh, it doesn't play when it faints in this game. And I don't think he has another. Oh well, just trust me, it does. It does. I'm not crazy. Gundam whines like a man, baby. Bruh. I feel attacked. I feel so attacked right now. I need a safe space. About to use Magnemite. Why does this guy need so many Magnemites? Oh, 
wasn't hard, just a bit tedious. And it still don't know leech life. So this is just fantastic. Just a world of fun right here. Can't even give my Togepi a haircut to help it evolve into Togetic. Oh shit, there's Jungus. There he is. Hello, El New. You're only, what, two and a half hours late? Actually, I think you were here earlier for the Jedi Academy, but you disappeared pretty soon. So, um, due to reasons, I couldn't get a Paras, but I have a Venonat, so I'm now training it up to get Leech Life on it. When does it learn Leech Life? Is it soon? Tell me, when does it learn leech life? For I much desire to see it. Tell me, where is Gandalf? For I much desire to speak with him. I'd prefer not to. Like, I'll be quite honest, I don't want to have to back backtrack to Ilex Forest again. I have a Venonat, is that not enough? You said that could learn Leech Life. When does it learn? Yeah, I know it works. Do you think I have not planned this all out carefully? Because I haven't. Um... For real? Ah, uh, Growl's pretty rubbish. Paris is level 19. I thought it would be something like level 14. 14 for Venona, and I assumed that it would be something ridiculous for Paris. Do I like Pokemon? Gee, I don't know. No, I just can't tell if I like Pokemon or not. Such difficult question to answer. Very hard hitting. I don't know if I can give a definitive answer. El New That's just one time too far. One time too far. Don't question. My logic does not have to be consistent or make sense. This is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. And I said, too far.
there has to be a point at which you ask yourself, what am I willing to put up with today? Not this. Kim Jong Awak, glorious leader. Um, I'll be honest, yes, getting a Paris would probably be faster. At the same time, I'm kind of committed right now. I need to box something. But I don't know what. I want to get the egg. The mystery egg. The crystal egg. Right, you know what I could do? Well, actually, I need to deposit two Pokemon. Or not. Shut up, there's method to my madness. There's method to my madness. Right, come back, Bab. Right, give me egg. This is an odd egg. Yes. Bab. Okay, I'll raise your bab. <laughs> We gave our bab away to um, be adopted to the orphanage. And now I don't need to raise bab. I can let it get to level 25 just by walking around. It's genius. So the question is, do I actually use this stupid Togepi? So let's be honest, Togepi is one of the worst Pokemon in Gen 2. Togepi and Togetic, they are miserable. They are terrible. I hate them. I don't know anyone who doesn't hate them. I don't know that many people who have an opinion at all on them, to be honest. I thought I hadn't fought this person yet. I don't need the Vienna to be gaining levels. All I need is the Venonat gaining levels. Give me full burn. No? Thank god. Yeah, I beat the cow. It was very easy, actually. I used an X attack on Geodude and then clutched through with magnitude. It's a good battle. I didn't have Kapow. I only got to level 21 after killing the cow, unfortunately. The question now that I have is, do I use Handjob to destroy Morty? Or do I get rid of... Do I get rid of the Geodude in favour of making Morty hard because he will be let's face it he 
him and his freaking ghost types. I mean, even with that hand job, to be honest. You never know when he might pull out some BS like freaking hypnosis. Good mythical morning. I have no idea who you are talking about. Here I am, trying to figure out whether I should fight Morty with Geodude or not, and my chat's going nuts talking about Calbrain. It's madness, I tell you. Madness. Oh. I forgot just how many of these trainers on this route I hadn't fought. Did I finish the maps? Did I finish the maps? You saw how many maps there were. Do you think I finished the maps? I finished the maps from episode 3. Revenge of the Sithy Boys. the important ones. Please, Elnu, your bias is showing. Hey, Joey Destroyer of Worlds 1. Welcome to the stream. Only problem in Pokemon is Morty's Gengar. Usually, yes. Some of his others can be pretty frustrating. Level 2. Oh, that's rubbish XP. So much for XP for Egg, eh? I mean, the problem is, my entire party is kind of slow. So, every single Pokemon Morty has is going to outspeed, and they're all going to be using Bloomin' stupid hypnosis. And it's just not going to be a good time. I can't even be bothered to switch out. It's going to be the level 6 one. Yeah. What a waste of time this trainer is. I get that he's a juggler, but why did they have to make him so annoying? This one might be worth, I think it's level 10 now. Street, you're stretching a little bit. Final form, Gengar. I see they haven't lessened how painful Screech is. There I am with my headphones, and that frickin' nearly deafens me. Oh, too painful. Yo, don't know. Well, yeah, Dream Eater's the problem combo. But still, Hypnosis is annoying on anything. But maybe... I don't know if nothing else has it. That would be a dream. I distinctly remember Morty just being hell on earth the last time I fought him. Which is ironic, given that Ghost is physical type in this gen, so he has no good stab moves. But they don't need it. Ghosts are just strong. They don't suffer like dark types do. I need more potions. I might as well pick up the quick claw. Nice. 
nightmare. Ugh. Not like nightmare is actually a particular good move, but still. I'm gonna have to buy so many awakenings. I mean, I might as well fight all these trainers now. I could avoid some of them. But I have to go back through this route two more times. Because I've backtracked Golnod to get the blooming water bottle. Because Crystal is annoying like that. I can't just pick it up. I have to talk to the girl first. Pepper is flashing us. Or Abra. Hmm. How much adventure are you near to the end of this game? Um... I guess... Depends... Depends what you define as the end. I'm almost halfway to fighting the Elite Four, which you could consider one end. Uh, OP Faulkner. Um, well, not since we had the Geodude. If I hadn't allowed myself to catch Geodude, then Faulkner would have actually provided a problem, because um, chat insisted I pick Chikorita, which is not... This is death. Uh, okay, lower my accuracy despite me being so close to death. Do it again, please. No. Uh, pity. Pity. Um, well, at least the grass type is being useful here. Why did they make Kinesis? It's such a terrible move. It's less accurate than Sand Attack or Flash has the same effect and only a handful of Pokemon even learn it. It's just garbage. Might as well fight him now. I'll probably stumble into his vision eventually. Unleash your anger! Damn it, of course I had to have my flying type just get KO'd. Hmm. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is a very, very worrying amount of damage. At least he's not using Absorb anymore. Make, he could be making this so much more difficult. Oh my god. Yeah, misses. Stupid Tangler and its ridiculous defense stat. Love how Bayleaf's name being just... 
Megal. But I knew. I don't know what sense your previous suggestion made. And that worries me more. Uh, I'm just... Don't really see any point in answering that. I'm pretty sure Tangler has quite high defense. Especially for a grass type. Like, not the best special defense, but high defense. Right, now we get the squirt ball, and we go back up there again. Why did they think this was a good idea? So much more... Um... Oh right, yes, now I talk to this... Look at this! It was just so much more concise in Gold and Silver. Six viewers? Wow. We on the route to, uh, what is it, associate or whatever it is. I can make money. <gasps> and then nobody actually bothers to donate bits or anything. <laughs> Oh, if it's shiny. If it's shiny, can I justify not using it? Disappointment. Oh well, there's still the um, set Gyarados that we can encounter. That might be shiny. Wouldn't that be a shock on stream? Kappa. What do you mean, don't kill? It's worth. I know Sudowodo has a good move set. I mean, just kill Bayleaf, for goodness sakes. Why would you want me to catch this thing? I use it almost every time I play this game. It's one of the strongest Gen 2 Pokemon. It's also quite likely to kill my entire team at this rate. Well, there you go. I hope you're happy now. That was free XP that I could have had.
Yeah, I'm not patchy. One punch! I can just skip these trainers. I thought for a second this thing was shiny, and that would have really blown my mind. This is still pretty rare, so I'm going to catch it. Actually... Ah, eh, who cares? Catch that. I don't really want to use it. In fact, I, I'm not going to use it, but... He's Rudolph the Blue-Nosed Reindeer, apparently. I'll give it two more balls before I faint it. Does look kind of does look kind of like a bantha. Hey, it's Bill. We can get Nevi now. We won't be. Even though Evie technically counts. But who who would want me to use an Eevee? What a boring Pokemon. need Rock Smash. Or do I not? I can't remember. I keep pressing Y because I think it's select. Big brain. Fire, lightning, water and shadow. Awake. Ah. Oh. Also pink. Yes, everybody knows the famous Pokemon types. Lightning, shadow, and pink. Where's the mark? There it is. I never do remember where the layouts of these. Left myself only enough money for one single awakening. Big brain move. And it doesn't even sell repels here. So I can't go through whatever the mountain is to try and get my liquor tongue early. Good. I guess. Good. I don't know what to do here. What to do first. I 
feel like Street is trying to act like he knows Pokemon. Entei doesn't get an evolution in Gen 4. This thing is good XP. It's level 14. So long as it doesn't poison. Ah, oh, of course it does poison. Why would it not poison? Egg four one fourteen. That was decent XP. Just let me leave. I'm not hurting you. Yes, now I remember the real reason why I fought that stupid Zubat, stupid coughing. Because I just wanted to run and it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't have let me. Not in crystal. Magmar's actually one of the ones I looked up, because Magmar gets Magmortar in Gen 4. But you can't get it in Crystal. For some reason. It's only in Gold and Silver. This is not a good matchup. Works for me. Self destruct against this thing. It's the second magnitude four we've seen. Yeah, I've got the egg on me, so I guess we see what it hatches into. If it's Electabuzz, it could work. Or, obviously, Magma. But to be honest, I... I'm not that much a fan of Magma. You know damn well what a hand job is, Elnu. Don't play dumb. One of these days, I'm going to have to set the mature tag from this stream. I try so hard to keep it PG and it just... slips through my fingers. You know what I mean? Ah. That was unfortunate. This is what I get for relying too much on Geodude. Now we're actually in a bit of a situation, because next he has Aquilava, which I don't have a count for. The reverse sweep incoming. When Awick is famous. Ah, I can only dream. I 
I don't know why I did that. Here I am, still trying to switch train egg, when I don't actually have a Pokemon that can counter it. This is why I kept a revive. It's cheaty. But hey. Nobody said I ever had to play fair. Come on, it's what we all want to see. And if it doesn't kill, then I deserved it. Look at all that XP purely for egg. We unleashed some puppers. Now watch this random ass ratata kill my team. Because I still cannot escape. I've still got Nighthawk to fall back on. What a bother. Yes, yes, get on with it. I'll be honest, I don't really like the added story from Crystal. I like the wider variety of Pokemon from Crystal, but the story... I prefer it Gone Silver's. Like, Yusin is such a uninteresting character. Alright. Uh, I'll buy some more Awakenings, and then it's time to get our asses kicked by Morty. Good fun. That's not what I can afford. Damn. Still poor. Actually, I could do the EV people. I don't know why I'm giving eggs so much XP. I might as well just try and raise its happiness to get it to Togetic rather than giving it XP. It's not going to be useful as Togepi, is it? Not even going to respond to that. This is specifically the matchup I wanted to avoid. What do you mean battle them so much later? I thought they were in the same place. Why would they change that? Of course it misses.
twice the pride, double the fall. I feel like you just like me saying that. It's not surprising. I like me saying that too. I should have come across this yesterday. I could make a oh, 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 sick, sick vape pro joke. Get it? Cause 420. Let's be honest. If anyone came here looking for a top tier humor, you're just gonna be disappointed, man. Dukun Bidoof, the duality of man. Sometimes you are a Dooku, and sometimes you are a Bidoof. The fact that you have to specify that means that you don't think that the previous voices I've been doing as Dooku have been good. Which would suggest to me that I can no longer do the good Dooku voices. Because here is me trying to be a good... Blah, 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 what? Here is me trying to do a good Dooku voice. Twice the pride. Will the fall? That is me trying. So if that doesn't impress you, I don't know what to say, man. Must have lost my touch. this hoot hoot out for every battle and it just hasn't been useful. At this rate I'm just trying to get it to evolve and then I'll box it. They all have to sand attack. I like Vegito. Is that Street Fighter? Or, um, Stretch Armstrong? This is only a Flareon. I shouldn't need Geodude, right? Flareon is easily the worst evolution. But this will be a piece of cake. There was a lot of damage. It's fine. 
just tackle it back and do equally much damage. Or not. Well, if it stays asleep, maybe we've got a chance. This is working so far. Yes. One more. One more. Easy peasy. My favourite Pokemon is coughing. Despite the fact that I earlier just killed a wild one for no reason. It just looks cool. Oh, god damn it. Give me surf. Gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. I have nothing to teach it to yet. But I can buy more awakenings now. Don't need to go too overboard. The ways of Awak are vast and mysterious. It is my belief that no man other than myself could ever possibly hope to achieve the state of being that one can refer to as Awak. Some have tried. Some have made pale imitations of my glory. But they can't compare. Actually, technically true. I had a friend who made a bunch of Twitch accounts called stuff like Awak 3, Awak 5. Very strange friend that was. Anyway, I think we can fight Morty before the end of today's stream. We've been going for a long time. Between this and the Smash Bros stream, I spent almost four and a half hours today streaming. That's mad. Good. Good job, Ghastly. So many eyes. Does it make you feel uncomfortable on you? What is it about just, you know, unconnected eyes? Or, you know, eyes in shadow or something that makes us so uncomfortable? Many eyes just peering out of darkness. It's a popular trope.
Isn't that the fear of holes? Oh, not the fear, but, you know, the uncomfortable feeling, I guess. Ah, curse. Stupid curse. I guess, technically. There's my potions. This could be the chance I've been looking forward to to get my Noctowl. have a bad feeling about this. Oh boys, use curse. Ow, ow, ow. Please. I was lucky. Thank God the AI is stupid. So close. And another haunter. Let's just geodude it up. How am I enjoying the stream? Uh, yeah, it's fun. I wouldn't still be still here if I wasn't enjoying it. Like, I mean, I know you're all lovely people and you all enjoy watching me stream, but let's be honest here. I am ultimately a selfish person and I do this because I find it fun. Not merely to entertain. Though this is a bit of a tired spot as far as Pokemon goes. What is selfishness? Oh no, I can't escape. I guess I only have one choice. So, hey ninja, you came in at a good time, clearly. Ah. I guess we've had our mystery six viewers somewhat explained. Fortnite Coming to you soon Fortnite streams on this channel on the Nintendo Switch Do you think people would unfollow me if I did Fortnite? <laughs> I reckon some would, at least. Do 
The irony is, I've spent all this gym training up Hoot Hoot so that it would become Knocked Owl. But now I don't particularly want to use the Knocked Owl on the, the gym leader. Or, well, anything. I kind of just want to get rid of it. <laughs> We've got it. We had it. Now let's get rid of it. I think Geodo is definitely going to get to level 25. I mean, look how close he is. Question is, will Geodo get to level 26 from this gym leader battle? Actually, let's give Nighthawk a decent shot, shall we? Multi starts with Haunter. We can start with our not most powerful. I read none of what he just said. He always was a bit of an edge lord. Really? I mean, Geodude's alright, but I wouldn't call him an amazing Pokemon. Goes into Haunter. Good. That's not ideal, because now I have to switch when he sends out Gengar. Damn. I like Gollum. Gollum's design is cool. But I really do hate trade evolutions. Drat. He did what I was going to do. Two. And this is what the fight, the rest of the fight, is gonna be like. I should have given the Quick Claw to something. Hey! Actually, I could put Foresight on it. And then anything could attack it. That's actually a decent idea. Plus, Tackle is more powerful than t Peck. I think. Can't tell. I'm just gonna switch to Geodude. Yep, you're right, use the force. Let's not mess around. Let's just kill the thing. Knocked out did a good job. It did a good try. It was just a tad too slow. Double mean look. Next level plays.
kind of expected him to survive, but then use curse. Nice. Look at that smug looking face. Finally, a good TM. A TM that we won't use until we get to Kanto. What fun. Alright. Well then. I think we've come to the logical conclusion of tonight's stream. So I will thank all of you for coming to join me. It's been a pleasure having a chat. 